Welcome back art friends. Today we are going to paint a lobster. You're going to need blue, green, yellow. I did two spots of white so that I can keep one clean for the end. Black and red. You're going to need a medium flat brush and a medium and small round brush. Don't forget to have your rag and your cup of water handy. So let's get started on our background. I am going to start by laying in some, I'm going to call them like wavy clouds of color. Okay. So I'm going to use green, blue, and yellow to fill in some just random spaces of wavy clouds of color all through my background. Now that I have all of these colors on here, this is where it's gonna get a little bit of fun. If you are not comfortable finger painting, then I would suggest you using a paintbrush, but I am going to squirt some white paint on my hand. Um, I love finger painting, so I am gonna start by just going left to right and kind of blend these colors in a little bit. The great thing is all of these colors will work well together. And I'm gonna pull all these colors down to the bottom, adding more white paint if I need it. Now I'm gonna go wash my hand off while my background dries. And when we come back, we will add in some bubbles and our lobster. With a clean hand and a dry background, I'm gonna take my baby brush with white paint and I'm gonna make some spirally circles. So these are just gonna go a little bit of everywhere on my background. And if I'm feeling kind of funky, I can grab a little bit of blue and add it to my circles. But I'm just going to place these everywhere and they can overlap. They could be by themselves. You can have them big, small, your choice. Now I'm going to lay out where my lobster is going to go. So I'm going to wash my little brush off and I'm gonna find my medium round brush. With my medium round brush, I'm gonna go in with red paint and I'm gonna lay out four sections of my lobster. Um, these are all gonna be pretty similar, but they're gonna be stacked on top of each other. So down here in the bottom right corner, I'm gonna make just a small rectangle. It's about one inch by one inch. Now just above that, I'm gonna make another rectangle and it's gonna be just a little bit bigger but the back of it is gonna curve just a little. I'm gonna make another one of those, bigger. The back of it is gonna curve just a little. And this very next one's gonna be a different shape because it's gonna be my lobster's head. So it's gonna start with a curve, kind of looks like a smiley face. And then as it goes up, it's going to have a curved top to it. So those are my three main parts, my lobster on his body. But then down here at the bottom, we're gonna give his tail. And it's gonna kind of fan out like this with a wavy line across the bottom. And then right here at the base of his head, I'm gonna just put two small little lines. And on those, I'm gonna add his claws. So this first claw is going to be, looks like a letter U. And I'm not gonna be able to see where it 
comes together at the top, but I can add my little zigzag line here in the middle to show you where the claw opens and closes. This one right here, we'll see the whole thing. So it's gonna be a little sideways U shape. And as that U kind of comes up, we're gonna curve it in. And we'll make those same zigzags going back until they connect. So I am going to paint my whole lobster in. Now, some of you guys may think that you're red, you can kind of see through it. And if that's the case, which mine, I am seeing a lot of the colors through it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint him white first, which, you know, is gonna look pink. I'm okay with that. Because that will give me a really great base to lay out my red color. So I'm gonna paint my whole lobster in white. If your lobster, or if your red paint works better than mine, and you don't see everything through it, you can skip this part and paint everything in red. So I'll paint this in white. When I come back, we will add in our red and our details. Before I let this sit to dry, I am gonna add his two little lines for his eyes. So just two small little curved lines. I'm going to put his eyes on the top of these. All right, I'm going to let this dry. When we come back, we will add the rest of our little lobster details. Before I let this sit to dry, I am going to add his two little lines for his eyes. So just two small little curved lines. I'm going to put his eyes on the top of these. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will add the rest of our little lobster details. With a nice dry pink lobster, I'm going to go ahead and fill his entire body in red. So we're gonna go fill his body in red and then we're gonna add some highlights to our lobster. Okay, let's talk about giving this lobster some fun highlights and lowlights. So, with my same brush, my medium round brush, I'm gonna use blue paint. Now, it sounds kind of weird, right, for that to be the, the shadow, but when you put the blue on that red, it will mix in to make a great purple. So, along these smiley face lines, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. So, all three of these. If it's too blue, put a little bit of red on top and all of a sudden you get that purple. That's what you're looking for is that great purple color. With that same blue paint, I'm gonna add some lines on his tail. And again, if it's too blue for you, you can go ahead and add a little bit of red on top. right at the base of his little claws. I'm gonna go right around the left and the right of his arm, adding some blue. Then also right around the base of his head, not, a, not through his uh, little eye lines there, right around the base of his head, we're also gonna make it just a little bit darker. All right, let's talk about highlights now. Wash that brush off and then we are gonna grab some yellow paint and we are just gonna put this on right here on the top of his body. A Little bit of yellow, we're gonna mix that in until it makes a really nice orange.
maybe even a little bit of white right here in the very, very, very center. What that does is it helps him look like he's got a little bit more of a, a curve to his body. Perfect, so we're gonna do that with his head and his three body parts right here. But these I'm gonna go at the same angle as the body part. And on his little lobster claws, we're gonna kind of make a V shape on him. So right here, we're gonna do the same thing on both of these. Right along the top, we're gonna add both yellow and white. Just kind of blend them in. If you get too much yellow or too much white, of course, just add red to it. Helps tone it down. switch to my baby brush because now I need to do just a little bit of yellow and white on his arms and on his eyes. And last but not least, we gotta add some to the tail. So a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white on each one of these tail pieces. I'm gonna use the back of my big brush with some black paint and I'm gonna go right up here at the top of his head and put two big black circles. with my small brush with a mixture of both red and yellow paint on it. So it looks like it's got ketchup and mustard on it, right? I'm gonna go right up here and I'm just gonna add a couple of little squiggly lines. So next with that same brush, I am going to do one of my favorite things. It's a ghost line. It's where you kind of sort of outline your entire object, but you don't copycat the whole thing. So as I'm going around it, I'm going to make some of it black and, or black and outlined, but not all of it needs to be. So I might outline pieces of it, but I will not outline the whole thing. Wash that brush off really good because now I'm going to go in with white and I'm going to add some very distinctive highlights on him and these highlights are going to be almost like letter L's see that and backwards so there's just going to put a couple of white highlights on his body mostly staying to the left but just a couple on the right And last but not least, we're gonna add his little legs in. So right here along this um, 
this middle body part. So I've got two above it and two below it. I am just gonna add in one little lobster leg, two little lobster legs. Add a little outline to some of that. And even a little white highlight to it also. I can't believe I almost forgot those. Poor little lobster guy. It's been hard to swim without some legs, huh? All right, so when you're finished, don't forget to sign your artwork always. The only way we can see what kind of artwork you have made is if you take a picture of it and you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Be sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, stay safe, stay kind, and stay healthy. Have a great day, friends. Bye.